I'm here in Cool, uh, just outside the perimeter of the direct plantation centre in Cool. Uh, cool, as uh, an awful lot of people are aware, is it was an, a lovely uh, small village uh, outside Castle Pollard in northwest Mead, uh, with a population of 200 people. A homogenous community, a, a very safe village, a very nice place for people to live and work, uh, and uh, and uh, to. to uh, recreate at night. Now, in the, in the, within the last six months, because of the, the local cool hospital being um, acquired by a developer, we've had a hundred immigrants, a hundred strangers uh, uh, imposed on the community uh, here in Cool within the last six months, which is absolutely scandalous, uh, um, w without any uh, uh, consultation with the local community, and not only not not only no consultation, but against their express consent. There was a I was involved uh, for a number of months in a, the Cool Concerns protest. I supported the Cool Concerns protest group uh, that had uh, um, daily vigil and nightly vigil here outside the hospital before uh, the, um, the, the, the 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 these foreign nationals were. Uh, um, un unloaded or dumped into this into this place, uh, and it's all this has all been done for profit. It's been done. We, we, we were aware lately of the Seamus McEnany scandal. Uh, one developer up in Monaghan uh, who has been paid a hundred one hundred and thirty million euro by uh, the state by the Irish taxpayers uh, for for uh, direct provision for for planting foreigners in. The, in, in now in this area, um, it's come to my attention. I'm here with Alan, uh, a local man who was involved in the Cool Concerns uh, protest, and he informed me that um, just yeah, behind this gate here, there's, yeah, there's up to up to ten modular homes. This is opposed to the, the original agreement from the developer that we met with, and he said that this was not a plan going forward. Um, so yeah, this is a huge shock to the village. A village of only two hundred people. We already have 100 strangers, like you said, and uh, that's only in the last six months. So now we have yeah. a new development already. So just when we're getting over the shock of the first plantation, now we have the second. And we were made aware that the, the, the doctor's clinic here, it's closing. He rents that from the developer, so we're kind of seeing a trend here. What's scandalous about this is that under one of the opt-outs, Ireland, like Denmark, have an opt out under the EU Lisbon Treaty. Yeah. Alan, I spoke to you about this before, and, you, yeah. and indeed, you're noting your, your, one of your activists in Cool Concern yeah. brought it to my attention, and she was correct yeah. that we have an opt out in relation to the Lisbon Treaty in relation to migration. But there, there's a reason anyone now can see, as plain as the nose in your face, the reason why that we have that, that, that the Irish government don't exercise that opt out, don't use that opt out on migration because they clearly can't deal with the with capacity issues and especially when we have a housing crisis and the, Im the immigration uh, um, out of control immigration situation in this country is fueling and caught and i would say i contend it is the main cause of the housing yeah, crisis yeah. and and uh, the real reason why uh, they're not using that opt-out is for they want to enrich people like the the, the, the developer behind us here, yep. who, who was planting the, the coal, like Seamus McEnany and many others, like yep. uh, Orla Reynolds at the Longford Arms, 1.6 million a, a year. Absolutely. Like, it's it's a, and it's all circle. taxpayers' money. It's a, it's, a, it's a new design, new concept, new scam to reach into the taxpayers' pockets and extract as much money as they can. And this is exactly what we're seeing here. We're seeing it across the country. And it's transforming totally, but a totally villages, way, yeah, destroy towns, it. cities, yeah. crime, everything. We don't, it's it's not fabricated, it's not a far right myth, it's facts and it's, it's a trend throughout Europe, one that I'm well aware of when I travel away to work and see yeah. all of the disadvantages of belonging to And also that. there's no uh, checks for, for criminal records of these people, no. so we don't know. We, we don't know. No, I'm. Not, I can't. I can't make an accusation that everyone that will be moved in here is a criminal. I'm not saying that, but we, we don't know that they're not. Exactly. But cool concerns were 
approached your, uh, spoke with local politicians, you spoke with uh, uh, local councillors and local TDs, mm. and what were you told in relation to that when you raised those concerns? Yeah, absolutely, very little. And, and when well, I suppose when the process to the next stage of for when we knew, uh, I think Robert Troy, disgraced politician Robert Troy, yeah. he texts a couple of the, um, the local residents here in Cool and says that there will be. Uh, I pass uh, asylum seekers coming to the village or in the next week, and that it'll, uh, I'm sure they'll be embraced, and Cool will be delighted to have them. And you know, speaking for the masses, without any consultation, without any forthcoming information at all, and basically, push came to shove. They said, "What are we doing? These, these protests have to stop. It's a disgrace. What you're doing? Don't ask questions. Just put up with it, basically." And yet, that's the way they treat their constituents yeah. and the people in this area voted for, uh, um, in, in previous elections, for, would have voted for the main parties, Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil, like, uh, yeah, Robert Troy is a local TD, Peter Burke, Mullingar, a local Fine Gael TD, yeah. and, and, and these people, uh, um, this is the way they treat yeah, the, their, their constituents. The locals, yeah. Yeah, okay. there's, obviously there's real concern. I was in Burke's pub, I, I, I seen the temperature that night, mm. and uh, I, I seen Councillor McDermott, the Fine Gael councillor, yeah. Frank McDermott, and he was running for the hills. Yeah. He did not want. Uh, that's the way. That's the way he did, he treated um, his constituents with utter contempt, and that's why there is a national party because the national party is about representing the people, the real the people, people of are. Ireland. And if we give our word and give our commitment to someone, we will stick, stick, stand by it. That's why I'm here tonight. Absolutely. That's why I was there initially. To, 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 and, and right the way through, I give that commitment, and I'm giving yeah. it again that the National Party will do whatever we can. Yeah. But uh, but again, we need we we, we, we with, it has to be a collective effort. We need uh, support too from the from the. We need to encourage the local community not to give up on this and, and, to, and to to redouble their efforts to try and yeah. uproot this and and, 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 and restore cool to the old cool the way it used of to. Be. The way we all the cool we always loved. And it's refreshing to have uh, a party like the National Party as well. There's no alternative when you want to voice your concerns, real, true life concerns about these situations. You know, we're hearing about all of the crime uh, statistics. Uh, look at you, you can read the paper any given week and you'll see it. It's in your face. And, you know, uh, there is more support, you know, coming for that point of view. Yeah. And, you know, it's about educating and waking people up to this. Unnatural madness. Look, thanks very much for bringing it to my attention. I really appreciate it. And as I said to you, uh, on behalf of the National Party, I want to give you a, a solemn commitment that uh, I, I won't be found wanting. I know my colleague, my colleagues in the National Party won't be found wanting. It, my colleagues in the in in, in the Westmead and, and the Longford Common will yeah. be there to support the people of Cool uh, in in their hour of need. Brilliant. We need Thank it. you. Well, thanks and appreciate it as well. Thank you very much.